the day before he delivers his new budget, Governor Phil Scott addresses business and civic leaders in South Burlington. That budget will reflect my understanding that Vermonters and Vermont employers have had enough and that they need a break. Despite a $70 million budget shortfall and maybe more, Scott says he'll keep his promise and raise no new tax or fee to make it balance. Instead, asking the legislature. We're going to live with whatever uh, revenue we have right now, so uh, we are not, uh, we're anticipating uh, level funding. Uh, that's what we're doing, level funding. And in some areas uh, where we can find those efficiencies, we're cutting back on spending. And there's some departments that need more money, so uh, it's not across the board. It's about just finding those areas of opportunity. Those include a new strategy to grow the economy, try to attract new workers here to fill the many available jobs, and remove barriers preventing construction of a lot more affordable housing. We will set specific housing targets and find ways to expand availability of good homes for working families and young professionals. He promises something about the high cost of K-12 public schools, but isn't yet ready to tackle the cost of long-term lake cleanup. Says for the next couple of years anyway, we can redirect money from other areas to water quality. Asked about the $15 an hour minimum wage proposal now circulating through the state house, Governor Scott said this was not the time. Too many mom and pop businesses, he said, simply cannot afford it. To one business leader. Oh yeah, I think there's clearly a change in tone. And you know, I think it, the tone is what uh, the governor stated all throughout his campaign. For this session, proposing a timeout on new taxes. We'll have live coverage of the governor's budget address tomorrow, starting about 2 o'clock. You'll find it streaming on our website at mynbc5.com and on our mobile app.